Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make use of data grid view. The data grid view displays the content of your database. The data grid view control is designed to be a complete solution for displaying tabular data with Windows form. But in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about the simple use of data grid view control. But in the videos to come, which I will publish in days um, to come, um, I'm going to be talking about uh, examples in an advanced way. By the way, I'm going to use the cruel event which I already created. If you want to know the information about the way I managed to implement these crude operations i'm going to put a link up above the screen on the right right hand side of your screen you can if you wish just click on that link and then it's going to take you to the video which i already published that talk about crude but today it is about data grid view so without further ado um let me take you through it what i'm going to do first because I want to make use of this crude operation that I already created, I'm just going to make a space on this form where I will drag and drop my data grid view. So I think this one should be fine. I'm going to toolbox and then uh, search for data grid view. Here it is. Let me just drop it here. Then I'm trying to make it a little bigger so it can contain all the data which are inside my database. So this is the data grid view that I managed to put on my form. First of all, uh, I'd like to name the data grid view that I just uh, uh, draw, draw, drag and drop on my, my form here. So I will call it data grid view so i want it to be just like this okay that is fine with me so after i'm done renaming my data grid view i think now i can make use of it so the first thing to do i have to make use of a method which uh, i must create in order for me to make use of uh, the data grid view so i'll come down here i'm going to create a method which i will crawl privates okay private void i'll call it fill uh data grid view so all right so fill dg view all right that's fine and then Parentheses, I come down here. Let me put curly brackets. That's fine. So now I have to put the information or the code inside my method. So my method is private void, and then the function which I'm using here, I'm going to name it. I already named it as fill data grid view. And this function is not retaining anything. That is the reason why within this parentheses, I left it empty as it is. All right, so I'll first of all try to open my connection string because I'm dealing with data, and the only way for me to get the data from my database to display them onto my data grid view, I have to connect to the database. And the only way to do that is by making use of the connection string which I already created. So if you want to know more about this connection string, you can just make use of uh, the video which I published regarding the crude events. Because today I'm not talking about crude events. Okay, let me carry on. So after the connection is open, I have to uh, make a query. That query will allow me to connect into my database in order to pull all the information which are there and to display them onto the data grid view. So the query will be string. All right, string query. which will be equals to select 
all from items so items is the name of uh, my table in my database all right and then why is it uh, underlined okay let me finish with my query here then i'm going to make use of uh, sql data adapter which will be da i'll call it da is new data adapter and then i'm going to pass the query inside here and then call for connection string okay I'll come down here then let me make use of uh, data table uh, data table i'll call it as dt this is how i'm going to declare this variable as a new data table all right then i have to fill my data table with uh, i have to fill my if, uh, my data grid view with uh, the data which will come from the table which uh, i'm making use all right so i'll say da which stands for data adapter dot fill and inside here i have to pass the data table sorry that should be inside these parentheses then now i have to declare or i have to send those data into data grid view so i'll say data grid view actually let me just create let me copy the way i named my data grid view in order to avoid any other mistake so this is how i name it just going to copy and paste where was i actually i was here all right so it's going to be data grid view dot data source all right and uh, data source will be equal to data table so those information must be come must be come from the table which already declared the app then it's going to be so after i'm done with uh, actually after the connection was open and i'm done with it i have to close it all right i think now it's fine so by doing this i managed to connect uh, my data grid view uh, to my my table this table item table items table here but unfortunately as for now if i can try to launch this data grid view will not be loaded with uh, the data from the database why because i have to initialize it and the only way i can initialize it is by making use of this uh, method that i just created by putting it into the load event of this form in such way that uh, whenever this form is launched or whenever this form is loaded it's going to make use of uh, the method that i created and that is a, that is only the time that will allow us to load the information from the database and display them onto our data grid view so let me go on uh, uh, loading this form with uh, the information regarding the method that i created so i'm going to close here and then just copy this uh, method let me get back to the form i click on an empty page of uh, the form here for me to get the load events so i can just copy as it is and then i have to finish it i have to terminate it with uh, i have to finish it with a semicolon to avoid any other mistake because this is how it works with c sharp i think now it should be fine let me try to launch here so you can see here that uh, our data grid view has been loaded with uh, the data from our database so this was basically uh, what i wanted to share with you guys today 
we're going to give the introduction, if I might say, the introduction to the use of uh, Data Grid View. But uh, in my videos to come, I'm going to talk about in an advanced way of using Data Grid View. So please, if you like you like this video, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is the only way you can encourage me. And after you have subscribed, don't forget to turn your notification bell because that is going to alert you next time I drop a video and maybe that video will be the one you have been looking for. So thanks a lot guys for watching my video. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.